In this short tutorial, we will show the use of a Pluto 2 spatial light modulator in a simple setup for holographic reconstruction. A computer-generated hologram is generated and addressed on the SLM using the Holoite Pattern Generator software. We will also demonstrate how a proper calibration for the used wavelengths affects the output and have a look at the effect of polarization and focusing on the reconstructed image. For this demonstration, we use a simple setup for holographic reconstruction. The assembly consists of a focusable beam expander laser module, a rotating polarizer with an attached aperture, the Pluto 2 SLM and a magnetic display mount. First, establish the HDMI connection between the SLM and the computer. Connect the power supply of the SLM afterwards. Start the Holoi SLM pattern generator software. At the Optical Parameters dialog, select the proper wavelengths and click OK. At the File menu, select Open Image File. Open the Holoi Pattern Generator folder from the Program Files directory. Click on the Install folder and open the Samples folder. Now select the folder with the proper resolution of your SLM. For the Pluto 2 SLM, it is 1920 by 1080. Open the Signals folder. Now select an image, for example the Holoi logo image, and click the Open button. Click on the Compute DOE Face Function button on the top right. Adjust the image size to maximum at the following dialog using the slider and click OK. To address the image on the SLM, click the traffic light symbol in the bottom right corner. As we use the spatial light modulator in default configuration, the reconstruction does not look optimal at this point. To improve the output, we use the Holoi SLM Configuration Manager software. Connect the USB UART connector of the SLM with the USB port of your computer. Start the Pluto Configuration Manager software. If more than one SLM is connected to the computer, select the correct one at the top selection box and click OK. The software is reading out the current configuration of the connected Pluto 2 SLM device. This may take a few seconds. Select the Geometry tab at the top. With this option, you can adjust the output image in horizontal and vertical direction. Now select the Color Lookup Table tab. Click the Load from File button and navigate to the folder which contains the configuration files. These files typically are provided on the USB drive which is delivered with the SLM. Select the proper folder for your Pluto 2 SLM version and open the Gamma Curves folder. Now select the intended wavelength and choose the file for 2Pi configuration. Make sure to note the last values of the file name which indicate the voltage settings. Now the Configuration Manager software is loading the new configuration files. This may take a few seconds. Go to the Voltages tab. Now adjust the voltage setting according to the values mentioned in the file name of the configuration file you selected. To make the changes permanent, click the Save Permanently to Boot Config button. In our setup, we use a slightly converging beam to have a sharp focus at the diffraction plane. If the reconstructed image looks blurry, make sure the beam is properly focused. In an optimized setup, the illumination would be collimated and a Fourier lens after the SLM would be used. To use the SLM for phase-only modulation, the incident polarization has to be along the director axis of the LC molecules. For most Holo-I SLMs, it is along the long display axis. Any other incident polarization would lead to undesired cross-modulation between phase and amplitude modulation. Some Holo-I SLMs have an aperture on the display. If you illuminate the aperture, you get a visible noise at the zeroth order. Please avoid illuminating the aperture. 